more, let's bring in our very own Brian Sullivan. He's out at Chevron HQ in San Ramon, California today, alongside Michael Worth, Chevron CEO. Brian? Yeah, Kelly, thanks. And by the way, in a little TV serendipity, random but interesting, on the board of Chevron is Howard Marks' vice chairman of Oak Tree. So it all kind of comes together. I had no idea. Mike, thanks for having us uh, at, at your shop, by the way. Um, your stock is down a bit. Free cash flow is up. EPS beat. Uh, what are investors missing in the numbers today? Well, Brian, we had a very strong quarter, really strong free cash flow, enabled us to meet our organic uh, capital needs, uh, reduce $2.5 billion of debt, uh, pay out $2.5 billion in dividends, and announce a 2 to $3 billion annual share repurchase program. So our portfolio is performing very well. And uh, you know, we, we didn't come off as hard as other companies in our industry during the pandemic because we came into it with a strong balance sheet. We had a flexible response with capital. We brought spending down. And, uh, and so while we didn't come off as far, we've come back. And I think, uh, you know, we're focused on delivering higher returns and lower carbon, which is what our investors are looking for. There is a lot of people that I've met in the Texas oil fields, Mike, that were really hoping that you were going to increase your capital spending. It's down 32 percent from the same period last year because you guys are the big dogs. When you spend more money, the smaller services companies they make more money, they can drill. Why are dividends and buybacks, the new buyback program, why is that the best use of investor capital right now rather than new wells, more production? Well, we are drilling new wells. Uh, we've got a very capital efficient program. And so the activity per unit of capital spend has never been higher in our company. And so we can deliver strong production performance and strong cash flow at the same time. Brian, we're in a market that is still seeking uh, equilibrium. Uh, demand is recovering. Uh, we've got concerns about the pandemic that are still uh, with us. And we've got OPEC, which has gradually been bringing production back into the market. And so uh, we want to be sure that we see things settle out and we really get to a more stable market environment here uh, as we move forward. So we've got a, a very prudent posture for our company and one that well, we will so deliver you, value. And, and, and by the way, I think OPEC uh, would agree. And on the OPEC now monthly meetings, uh, the last one lasted about three weeks, by the way, and they had the spat, which they've solved. They talk about the same thing. When, and and uh, Abdul Aziz Ben Salman is very careful to say, we don't know where demand will be. What do you see? We got the Delta variant. We've talked about that. You still largely are work, uh, work remotely here at your headquarters, a couple thousand people normally. What demand do you see? Do you see another slowdown coming? Well, we've seen really strong demand recovery over this year, and, uh, and that really continues. Uh, it's a global phenomenon, uh, stronger in some markets than in others. The softness is in international air travel, but domestic air travel in the United States, within China, is back at or above yeah. pre-pandemic levels. Uh, the roads are, are full of cars now, and so demand has been very strong. Uh, there's, there are uncertainties relative to uh, responses to surges of the pandemic and policies that may uh, be enacted. We've seen some countries in Asia, for instance, that looked like they were in very good shape reinstitute some of these policies which have slowed down economic recovery. And so it's, it's an uncertain and difficult to predict environment, which is why we're maintaining flexibility and strength in our balance sheet and really looking to the long term as opposed to the next quarter or two. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.